happy um tuesday <laughs> i don't even know what day it is um so i figured you know <laughs> the last 24 hours have been very very busy uh actually gosh it's longer than that but anyway in particular the last 24 hours um and i thought you know for all you ladies that are not married yet don't have a family yet let me give you some clues <laughs> you know I've heard women say like, I don't know, I'd be so bored as a stay at home wife, I, you know, stay at home mom, what would I do all day? I'm like, what you don't understand is it is a 24 an hour, seven days a week job. There is no particular time off for you other than the time that you make around what you have to do. So, um, so let's see, yesterday I was insanely busy, uh, got no sleep. I was still having like nightmares about the dog biting my dog and all this stuff. I took him to the vet first thing in the morning. Um, and then, you know, went through yesterday, had to go over back to that neighbor's house, uh, bring him the vet bill, pictures of Maui's paws. And, um, you know, and they were just nasty to me. I'm like, whatever. <sighs> Whatever, I was very, very, very nice, but it's fine. Um, I almost wanted to send my husband over there and I was like, no, I don't really want to stress him out. It's not that important. If they pay it, they pay it. If they don't, they don't. Karma. <laughs> so anyway, um, and then I finished getting some meals prepared for my loving master because he's working all day today, uh, 4 a.m. till, you know, 11 p.m. tonight. Um, all his drinks, all his food, shakes, um, salads, and uh, a couple different types of meals, fruit salad, all these different things. Um, along with the fact that my daughter, uh, our daughter had a severe migraine yesterday. So plans change. I mean, just like instantaneously, just like when the dog got a dog bite. Okay. Well now the next so much amount of time is completely changed. And, but you know, child with a severe migraine is much more devastating so anyway you gotta turn the lights down gotta um you know uh make it as quiet as possible ice pack um you know no distractions and just let her sleep and then so you know i wanted to check on her before we went to bed um went to bed late well, i waited for my husband obviously and then checked on her and then went to sleep tried to sleep <laughs> Um, and then just every, it was one of those nights where just every few hours I was awake. If, if it was even that long, maybe every 45 minutes I was awake. Just like, what time is it? Okay. Cause I get anxious about making sure that I'm up when my husband has to go to work at four in the morning. I want to get up before him. I want to make sure his bags are packed. I want to get his car started and p pack up his car with everything that I can physically carry. So uh, one of his bags is too heavy for me. He carries that. But, um, and then, um, you know, so it was a really rough night's sleep. You know, I'm thinking about my daughter. I'm checking my phone. Did she message me? No. Um, you know, and then uh, get my husband off to work. Um, try to go back to sleep a little bit. Um, and then my alarm goes off again because I don't know if my daughter has to go to school at 6 today or 8 today because she has such a bad headache. I couldn't even talk to her about it. Um, and it alternates days, you know, one's an early day, one's a late day, it's whatever. And, um, and no response at six something. So I said, okay, let me rest a little more. And then the alarm goes off at eight something. And I'm like, okay, babe, how you feeling? You go to school, no response. So she's still resting. And then the alarm goes off, uh, you know, nine something where I'm got to get our third son up and he's going to work. So it's his third day of work today. So anyway, um, so it's just like, go, 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 you know, and then dogs and then, you know, breakfast and make some food and this and that. Um, so, you know, it's just life it just keeps going and you never know what curve it's going to throw at you, what loop, what punch, what, you know, whatever, well, you never know what life's going to throw at you. So you just have to be as adaptable as possible. And what I'm trying to do is not get so upset about things because I went through a phase of just being like so traumatized by news that was coming in that I was like I can't deal with anymore but you have to you have to be able to deal with it so I used to drink and I used to smoke I liked my 420 <laughs> you know but it cost a fortune and ultimately did not actually fix any problems so um on top of the fact I was a little too forgetful <laughs> and my brain I need all the cells I can get up there so Anyway, um, 
you know, so I, it's like I found out that they gave my dog uh, a one-year rabies shot instead of the three years, and we don't like to give them shots as much as possible. Plus, it's more money, and they're like, oh, well, you were two weeks late of getting his, his rabies shot, so we had to give him a one-year, and I was like, really? This is some bull crap. They got a monopoly going with the whole vet thing. That's a whole nother story, but just all kinds of stuff. So many different issues with different children and oral surgeries, you know, and this, that, and the other. And it's just a lot to think about and a lot to try to stay on top of. And I, the older they get, the more responsible they have to become. That is true. But it's like the mom is the glue that holds the family together. And you are a very important person. Um, and if you're selfish and you put yourself first in an unhealthy way uh yeah and and really I, i'm not even sure how to do it in a healthy way <laughs> i know you know eating well and take a nap if you need to you know my younger sister uh went back to work after her baby was born and i was like i don't know how you're gonna do it and she has suffered I told her, and I don't like to talk about personal, personal things with family members and things, because, you know, who wants to know that their story was out on, you know, YouTube or whatever, but, you know, it's not that bad, and it's a learning lesson, so, anyway, um, number one, waiting till you're 30-something to have your first child or children, period, is a really bad idea. Uh, you are going to be more tired than you've ever been in your entire life. That's why God gave you all that energy in your 20s so that you could have the sleepless nights, not to be up partying and drinking, you know, Captain Morgan doing shots till, uh, you know, the wee hours of the morning and be able to get up and go to work the next day. That's not why God gave you all that energy. He gave you that energy so that you could stay up with children and get up and do what you had to do the next day. Um, so anyway, you're going to be incredibly tired, mother. And then if you work on top of that, good luck. Because, uh, like I told her, and I won't say it again, but your child, I'm so sorry, it's what it is, will constantly be sick. And without skipping a beat, bless his heart, he turned a year old recently, and he has been sick consistently every single week, every month since he started daycare. Oh, my son's ready. I gotta go. Bye, love you guys.